of the videos, I was, um, you know, paying attention to, like, leaves falling off of trees and whatever else, other little tiny differences. That's why it makes me wonder of what I was just saying before, before I went down this explanation. It's like, this is going through my head that the words that I use here, it's what do my actions look like? What, what actions have people seen me take before I've taken those actions? If it's even me that they think are taking the actions, right? And then the other videos, I've seen other videos and I was like, you know, why is there three different versions of this video? And why is there, uh, you know, three different versions of a video? Producers could sit there and tell you all day that, you know, if you're filming something that is real, in order to have your shirt crease at the right time, just the same way that it creased the last time you tried to shoot that point of the video is fucking damn near impossible. I mean, it's it's not impossible, but it would be a lot of luck and a lot of, you know, manipulation to be able to make something that is so authentic in the way that you see a shirt sleeve move, not to mention mimic hand gestures and this and that and the turning of head. That would be the best acting on planet Earth that anybody could ever ever perform plus the universe coming as one to then manipulate the unless being moved in 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 uh what do they call that like immovable like you know like a shirt laying on a chair is a shirt laying on a chair until you put it on you know And that's why it's like, it's like, the words I'm saying now, it's like, these are words that are getting away from the reason I made this video. The spiked room was bait. That's what it was. It was to see who was jealous of a situation so many different types of warfare and That is, that is, that is what it is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's not about just that. It's about me losing the people that I've already not been allowed to be around for no other reason than just to bring the truth to the table for everyone. This decision is not easy because of the people that may be 
horrifically fucking pissed off at me. Okay, that's why. That's why it's not. It's not an easy decision to make whether I'm going to do this or do that. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get some more coffee. In a minute. I'm going to do that right now. I will be right back and take a leak. So it comes down to that. Um, you see, the thing is, is, is as much as it, and I'll go, I'll go into this now, again. As much as it's been. Treason by everyone. It's also been a human evolution experience because people have seen what people do when pieces of what I am, what this is, have been introduced into their lives. I, just like what I was handed, is way more complex I hope, I so hope that it's gotten to the point of people knowing what they've needed to find out and I can only hope that it was the right people the whole time. I know that there's been others that have come up and now that I understand fully what they were saying to me, 
the decision that they were able to make easy enough is not a decision that is easy enough for me to make. It is what seems like the same decision. It is not the same decision because their decision was based on factors. And the decision I have to make is based on different factors, although seemingly the same factors. That's why I say when I seen the faces of people, and to forget almost my entire life over the course of my entire life that was fake for so many years now fake as far as I don't have a friend in the world basically so many things were manipulated around me and yet for me to make the right decision was to go on as long as I possibly could without divulging the things that it seemed like at a certain point I've had enough of people going and speaking up about this and about that and about this and about that because those things so it's easy for some and then even if you looks like they're in the same boat the same situation. It's like totally different, man. Or female. And now that's what I feel I'm going to go right into is other people. That's why it's like, it's like, so, so then it's just other people taking over my life again, one way or another anyway. like it's like to let people down it's like it's like or not to or or not to let people down and it's and then to be let down by those people it's just so it is it is absolutely it is absolutely so tiring it is so tiring and to watch one person spin that lie and then one person spin their lie and then one person spin their lie and then there's other people that believe <sighs> That's why I said it's like all of these things right now, even with the stuff that I've explained here and spoke here, it's in this video. Will our country move forward? Will our country go backward? What is the right way to move forward? So many people to blame. And so many people who are not in the seat of blame. Who want to judge. 
yet they put no thought. Their choices are hard, yet simple. And yet some of them, not some of them, so many of their, their choices are very manipulated. Limited, so therefore manipulated. Some choices are limited, and that's just the way it is. Not for any other reason, but that's the way it is. Everywhere. In the universe. So many people that were aware of my situation... have done whatever they possibly could to put the wrong shit. Some people who knew about the situation, my personal, my personal situation, very, very extremely unique situation, have tried to manipulate every single thought in my head to the point where I will not do the right thing. And yet, if I do nothing, that is doing the wrong thing for the way wrong purpose. Even if that can be explained as the right purpose, it still is the wrong purpose because of what I understand of the situation being so complex that the bottom line is it so can be simplified in the fact that every single person in our country and or other countries that are having the finger pointed to them and other countries that are squeaking out the back door saying, you know what, we gone, all right, because it's like this shit's getting insane. And that is where I honestly, I want more time to think. And it's like, I'm so tired of watching all the people that think that my decision was so, so simple. And it's, it's just, it's just not that simple. It's not that simple. It's so, so far from being anything like the people who have made this same choice before me. Because they were not me. And that is, that is not us, that is not me on my high horse because my horse feels real fucking low right now. Real, real fucking low. (sighs) 
Oh man, I just. So that's where I think this is enough was said. I've been saying a lot over the past three years, four years, five, five years. Friends gone, and I don't even know if they were friends. Enemies who come as friends. The hope that there's people out there that care or love me. Other people ready to seemingly tear other people apart because of decisions that... Anybody in that decision-making process would have been wrong if they didn't do it. And they would have been wrong in the same fact that they'll be the ones to fucking accuse the people that fucking already did it. Some people made that choice to make the decision that I would have to make in the end out of their own hate or jealousy, or greed, or envy, or because it wasn't them. And I'm asking myself, will I ever hold the people that I even think care about me? Or will they ever be able to hold me if they care about me? It's like, I know that I have seen people hurt over the course of this whole human enlightenment experience. The evolution of mankind. The web of lies spread all over the world. Freaking wow. Martin Luther King. And before him, it was Abe Lincoln. And before him, it was Washington. And before him, it was people who wanted better. No matter where they came from. Better for themselves, better for their families. And then there was the people who... Who did not face those decisions and yet benefited from those decisions so that they could just go right back to every single thing that seemingly was wrong from the time mankind first started societies.
We are on the eve of possible life or destruction. Freedom and enslavement The speech that I've been making right now is unlike because other people have seen what I'm saying right now and have told me quotes from what I'm saying right now and it's still weighing so heavily inside my mind am I making those gestures the same fucking way that the other videos that those people seen am I not being unique enough will I end the video at the precise time that I'm not even sure of when I will or would have or have done ended the video Does every speck of the lit cigarettes that I've been smoking during the video, does every speck fall into place when freeze framed from the other videos to the video I'm making right now? Is life not about free will? Do we have free will? If these things are possible, is free will even possible? And yet, I know that I have proven so much about free will, and yet the course of life will still go. In the end, it's like, it's like, there are many different paths a person can choose to take. Even the path of choosing to do nothing. Has a path to follow. To believe in nothing. Then you're just lying to yourself. And to believe in one of the lies that somebody else has already spun. And yet I come and I bring as much truth as I possibly could as I was putting all the truth together from the people that have told me things that I needed to know from my own words that I hadn't spoken yet before I arrived. That is Free will is very real, yet life has its own path. Your life with inside of life has its own path that you get to choose. For even the beings that believe that change is impossible. I hope that they see and understand that change is something that they could be a part of. That they don't have to go down the worst part of their path that they've chosen to be the right path for them. That they can make some changes to that path to allow life to still have freedom.
These were my words. As unique as I chose to say them, these were my words. I think a lot of these words were already said by me before I even arrived here, to this place in time. And yet, these are still my words of freedom, Amen.